Welcome to the Caddo Convos, the podcast that explores the vibrant community of businesses thriving in Caddo Office Reimagined. We're here to shine a light on the incredible entrepreneurs and professionals who make the most of our private offices, co-working spaces, and day office rentals in the Dallas, Fort Worth suburbs. Join us as we share their stories, celebrate their successes, and dive into the benefits of working in a space that's close to home, but offers so much more than working from home. Let's get started with today's conversation. So joining me today on the Caddo Convos is Celia Peruznia, and your company is? The Light Within Counseling. Excellent. And you're my neighbor. Yes, so I am. Right across the hall. Yeah, we're here at the Caddo Maple Shade location, so mm-hmm. and she's, she's right there. So let's jump in and talk about what benefits do you bring to your clients, the people that come to see you? Um, yeah, great question. I uh, I believe and I strive to provide them with a... A safe space, obviously, to uh, specifically process through trauma. Um, I primarily work with people with complex trauma and uh, just different types of trauma, um, whether they've been diagnosed with PTSD or not, um, and as well as uh, attachment issues as well. So um, I strive to kind of help them unpack everything, help them understand why they do the things they do. Um, if there's a specific issue they come in with, uh, things like that, and and basically just set them on a path to where they want to be. Do you specialize? Is it a certain age group, sex, any of that? Who's who's Um, your ideal I would say uh, adults primarily. I used to work with adolescents, and I do still sometimes take in uh, high school-aged adolescents, but uh, primarily 18 and up. um, Yeah, that's, that's really the only criteria. (laughs) What makes you stand out? I would say I pride myself on being extremely authentic with my clients. Um, Having obviously worked with a lot of therapists, been in the company of a lot of therapists, uh, gone to a few therapists myself over the years. There's this thing that a lot of therapists do that is uh, very kind of robotic to me, um, similar to maybe any other profession, like a helping profession, doctors, um, things like that, where they, they kind of put on the mask and they're they're very like, oh, like, kind of like a TV therapist. How does little, that make you feel? A little too much scientist and Yeah, a less... little removed. There's like yeah. a wall. And I know just, you know, personally speaking, when I am talking to someone like that, I always have this feeling of like, there's a person in there and I want them to come out. <laughs> like, I kind of want to shake it out of you. Are you. What do I need to do to kind of get that out, you know? Um, so for myself, I've I've always been a very... For better or worse, uh, very authentic and direct person, um, very honest. And so I think I've developed a client base now that appreciates that. Um, And a lot of clients that come to me have been to many therapists before. And some of them even have like almost completely given up on therapy. They're just like, I've tried 10 years and four different therapists and I just haven't gotten anything out of this, you know, or I go and I talk to them and they, you know, they just say, oh, well, like, you know, let's talk about your day and let's process through, you know, you can vent, you can do this, but they don't really offer a whole lot of direct feedback or um, maybe like a, you know, uh, any specific things that they can do to help themselves. So I think that I'm different in that regard. Interesting. Talk to me about your journey to choosing this profession, you know, because it takes a special kind of person to do what you do. And then, um, you know, like where, where were you inspired? And then about opening your own business. So, you know, give me, give me the path that you got, got us to here. Yeah. Right um, so let's see the journey. Um, I was a typical college student when I got into college, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I dabbled in a bunch of different majors before settling into psychology. And then I kind of knew, um, you know, by the time I was graduating that having a bachelor's in psychology you know, it wasn't going to be enough to do anything specifically in this profession. So I kind of in the back of my head was like, I'll probably go to get my master's, but I don't want to directly do that right now. So I graduated and I just got a general job, like a corporate job. And, um, you know, it wasn't for me at all. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm not the kind of person who does well in an eight to five. I'm not the kind of person who does well in a confined building for very long. 
Um, so all of that was, it was, you know, it was a good experience for sure, but it just wasn't like, there was no room to grow for me. And so I was like, okay, it's time to go back to, to get my master's degree. And honestly, it was getting my master's degree that sold me on being a therapist because, um, even just like the interview day that we had to do at, uh, I went to Texas women's and we did an interview day and like just doing that was like, um, very eye-opening. I just felt very at home, even just talking with the professors and the other students and stuff. So going through that experience changes you completely as a person. <laughs> like I, I I liken it to you take your eyeballs out and you put new eyeballs in and you never get to have your old eyeballs back. How about that? Yeah. That so life changing. It's yeah. so it's so life changing. It's crazy. And they tell you that too going in. And I was like, I'm I'm a very stubborn person. So I was like, no, it's not gonna happen to me. But absolutely was. Um so Uh, Going through that process uh, and then from there, your last year of of grad school is internship. And I did an internship at a um, at a residential treatment facility for drugs and alcohol Um, and just going and actually sort of like being a therapist. Finally, it really just like sealed the deal. I was like, this is what I'm meant to do. I feel like it just comes very naturally to me. Um, And now being a trauma therapist and specializing in attachment and learning a lot more about that, I've come to realize that I, in a lot of ways, was kind of conditioned into this role as well, just based on my own experiences and my my family dynamic and stuff. Um, So yeah, that's how I came to be a therapist, I suppose. As far as how I came to have my own business, um, that was just again, kind of like the decision to go to grad school. You know, I got a bunch of jobs, uh, different places. I, I've worked in pretty much every, you know, type of facility for therapy, uh, a couple different rehabs. Uh, I'd worked at a, um, adolescent outpatient program. I worked at a resident or uh, sorry, a psychiatric hospital, um, kind of test, test drove all oh, the sure. different things. Oh, sure. Yeah. You, all the different angles and yeah. perspectives. I wanted to try everything That's... and, uh, did, did a few private practices, um, and it's it's really just like uh, it's funny i think i inherited this from my father but we just like we weren't really made for working for other people <laughs> like we just we're we're really self motivated and sure. we really enjoy being our own boss and yeah. so in the back of my mind i think that was also part of what helped me choose this profession as well was knowing i had that capability to do that and be successful and in in this industry it's it's just kind of night and day com- you know, working for someone and having your own business is just night and day. So it really is. And it's, I'll tell you, that's a consistency I hear with the CATO members that have been on the show mm. is that we've all, we all tried it the other way. Yeah. And now, yeah. and that's what led we us. We had to try to it space. and we had to confirm it wasn't for us, you know? Yeah, that's fascinating. Terrific. Uh, talk to me about your range of services. You know, we, we did a quick overview at the beginning of the podcast. Tell me, you know, all the different things you offer. Um, so I work, uh, I primarily offer the sessions are 60 minutes. So hour long sessions with my clients. Um, most of my clients are coming to me using medical insurance. So, um, I'm in network with all the major insurance, insurance companies. And, um, I work with, uh, I have a few clients who do, who, who are private pay as well. And I'm, um, I also pride myself on, on, giving like fair cost for people who, especially people who are struggling, you know, financially so they can access therapy. Um, So primarily what I offer, I'd say most, maybe 60, 40 split at this point, but 60% of my clients I see in person in my office here. And then 40% I see online with, uh, through telehealth. Um, Oh, terrific. So yeah, uh, yeah, so just uh, individual therapy. Uh, I'm working on trying to devise some more um, different types of therapy to offer. Like I really want to start a group. I really want to do some group therapy. Oh, um, Cato is great because, you know, you have so many <laughs> conference rooms and you can rent them out and you get the, you get the credits. And so, um, I would love to start some type of group. I'm thinking maybe since most of my clients are women, thinking of starting a women's group maybe and having like a process group for that. And from there, uh, maybe doing some psycho ed group, uh, just stuff like that. I'm, I'm really trying to get uh, branch out now that I've been doing my practice for over a year and a half. I feel like I've, I've kind of got it down pat and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to, to branch out a little bit more. So I'd say my next stop is definitely going to be some kind of group therapy. That's a great idea. And like you mentioned, again, the benefit of, of Caddo is 
there are nine locations now. Right. So you could have those groups at nine different locations, you yeah. know, on a rotation if you want to, to serve all of the DFW Metroplex, you know, and so on. Plus with telehealth, I mean, anybody. Anywhere. Sky is the limit. Whoever in our listening audience could, could yes, join you. Yes, yeah. exactly. Anyone. Well, the thing about um, the rules in the United States, unfortunately, is uh, it's it's a state by state thing. Here. Oh, okay. So I can only see individuals who are located or physically in Texas okay, I did when they know join that. the session. Interesting. Um, basically, it's wherever you're licensed. I am licensed in Oklahoma. So I can also see people who are physically in Oklahoma. But outside of that, it is kind of hard because I have clients who will move to other states and they'll be like, we can just keep going with telehealth. And I'm no. like, I can't. Unfortunately, I would love to. But that's one of the rules that I, I can't bend. Interesting. So. Okay. Good, good to know. Good yeah. to know. Talk to me about why you chose Keto Office Reimagined. So let's see. I My last group practice that I worked at was located in McKinney. And when I started kind of getting the idea of I want to go off on my own, I just kind of looked up options for offices. I, I knew of these types of offices. I've worked in them with other practices. And so I just kind of Googled and I found the Caddo in McKinney. I walked in there. Um, it's funny because Tara, Tara was working there at the time and now she's here. But uh, I walked in and talked to her and I was like, you know, tell me about what you offer. And she gave me a tour and she's like, well, there there is a, you know, a brand new building out in South Plano, actually, if you're interested. And I said, I just bought a house in Carrollton. So I was like, wow, this is perfect. It's literally like down the street from my house. Yeah. And so I I went over, you know, took the little 20 minute drive down, visited this one. And at the time it was it was quite empty. Um, it, yeah, they had just opened. Yeah, yeah, this was like uh, March or February of 2023. So, yeah. you know. Way back it, then. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it filled up quickly this, this year and, and end of last year. But at the time it was like, pretty yeah. pretty empty and so i liked that because I, I liked the the, the quiet. quiet yeah and i i liked uh kind of not having a lot of hustle and bustle going on and so she showed me all the the options and i really just fell in love with the building like it's very unique it's it's very quirky which i love and i just love that there's so much space for people to relax like um you just like having so many different waiting rooms, essentially, you know? Yeah, it's true. There's, so, there are a lot of common spaces here. A lot. And they all have their own personality. And uh, I just think it fits my personality a lot as that's, well. That's fabulous. Yeah. Um, do, do, do you hear get a response from your clients as they come in? Do they say, oh, neat? Yeah, them? they do. The Most of them do... Um, especially the first time I, I was excited about that because uh, most of my clients came, you know, they followed me to this practice. And when they came in for the first time, uh, they were just like, wow, this building is so cool because it, it's just like night and day compared to what people were used to uh, in those more like smaller office suite type buildings. You know, you just walk in and it's just a small little uh, office space with like a tidy lobby and, and a one hallway. You know what I mean? This is just like you walk in and it's like, wow, this is amazing. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's great. It's space. definitely I get a lot of cool feedback. On That's it. terrific. So uh, speaking of feedback, you have a website. Let's talk about how your clients can reach you. You know, what is the best way? I, you know, I've, I've looked at your website; it's terrific. Thank um, you. Is that is that the best portal? You have other social media. Talk to me about how they can how they can engage with you. Um, so I'm not I'm not much for social media, um, but I do I have my website which has a contact form on it. Um, it also has my my cell phone number, and I have on there you know text or call. Of course, uh, nowadays a lot of people want to text, and I'm totally down with it. So text or call the phone number, um, as well as uh, there's a contact form. A lot of people will use. And a lot of prospective clients also find me through Psychology Today, because that's oh. a very popular uh, place to search for a therapist. Um, so a lot of them will reach out to me directly through that contact form as well. Um, so yeah, just either of those options and um, calling and as well as emailing, you know, the email address, everything is on the website. So Excellent. And that'll be listed in the show notes. So just, if you're listening to this, just Pull up the app, scroll down. It's right there. Click, click through. Perfect. Yes. And and also uh, the website, I, I should probably mention the website URL is uh, tlwcounseling.com, uh, the light within. So tlwcounseling.com. Awesome. Celia, thank you so much for being on the show today. Of course. You're a great guest. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for joining us today on the Caddo Convos podcast. A huge shout out to our incredible network of members for making our community vibrant and supportive. If you're looking to boost your productivity and reduce the isolation of working from home, consider joining us at Caddo Office Reimagined. 
Our spaces are designed to meet your evolving needs, support remote work, and foster a sense of community that's hard to find at home. Whether you're a startup aiming for growth, a freelancer seeking a professional setting, or a company looking to optimize resources, Caddo offers a perfect blend of flexibility and innovation. By joining us, you'll be a part of a dynamic business ecosystem that helps you thrive. For more information, visit caddooffices.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Caddo Convos.